going to talk about moth in your clothing. So where uh, the moth live uh, in dark places, they, they love being in your wardrobe. And what they do, they, uh, they eat the wool or the silk or the cashmere. It's when, when the eggs hatch, the wool, for example, will be the food for the larvae. Uh, so it's very, very important to clean your uh, garments when you see you've got any problem with, uh, with moth. And you will need to have a look, is it dry cleanable or uh, a washing? Uh, so when you see moth, first thing you need to do really is uh, bring the, your, your clothes to the dry cleaners and then clean your wardrobe. You need to clean the floor, the bottom, do a thorough um, job of vacuuming and, and dusting uh, in every area. Now, the other things you can do, you can also freeze your garment in the freezer, then that, that would kill the moth and the larvae as well. But make sure you always clean it first. So what can, um, what can the moth do to your garment? I've got an example here. I've got a lovely wool coat. And you can see, you can see that the larvae ate you know, the wool. So, and it can be everywhere on, uh, you can see, you know, it's, it's everywhere there. So when you see that, you know you've got a moth problem. There's few things we recommend at Farthings here. So when you've got the moth problem, we're looking at a canna uh, product and you've got a trap here or you've got a sachet or hanging that would um, uh, avoid the, the moth to, to eat your, your clothes. Now, if you don't have any moth, what I would recommend is using the cedar wood product, which is 100% natural and safe. You put it in your wardrobe and then the moth would not like at all the, the smell, so they won't stay. Thank you very much. And if you need anything, you know where we are. Thank you very much.